a Fox News panel is talking about Barbies, and of course, it got political. Barbie's like really big in the red states. That's right. <laughs> and Oppenheimer's really big in the blue states. <laughs> yeah. That's going on, Bill. No, I think you know what's going on, Bill. <laughs> Do we? That's the problem. Do um, we know what's going on? I'm not so sure. I think people, uh, like, people uh, would sound uh, like a party. Yeah. 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 And people in the North, you know, they, they okay, maybe that, have that, some. There's an interpretation. A little bit of here's intellectual guilt about the, the way Western civilization has unfolded. <laughs> but here's yes. the other thing. If you look at the map in the South, it's really hot right now. Yeah. Right? So you want to go to the movie? Yeah. You want to have a little fun? Yeah. There you go. You go to the movie theater. It's freezing in there. Uh, yes. There's nothing like watching plastic people talk about other plastic people. Yes. Or at least a movie about plastic people. Uh, it's so fantastic, by the way. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, let, let me explain it. People like movies. People like going to movies. People like watching movies. It's not a political thing. They just... Turns out people in red states are also people that like movies. And like fun. Now, as far as the, oh, oh but, but you understand, the North, the people in the North got have some uh, intellectual guilt uh, because then that's why they want to see Oppenheimer. No, maybe it's because they want to see the movie. Who cares? Who cares? Shut up. Let people have fun. Again, the, the only people that seem to be bringing politics to the Barbie movie is weirdo right wingers. <laughs> and it, but actually, look, th this segment when it comes to Fox News is kind of tame. Really, it's not even that good of an example of right-wing derangement. Um, it's silly, of course, to try to inject uh, politics into this, which, again, ironically, they're, they're uh, you know, uh, accusing Barbie of injecting politics into their movie, like Chinese. It's, it's, it's a whole weird thing. But no, uh, going to the real derangement, um, if you want to see a good example of that, go to Ben Shapiro, <laughs> who spent... I kid you not, about 43 minutes ranting about a movie that he doesn't he doesn't like, apparently didn't want to see, but his producers dragged him to. Oh, mm -hmm, yes, of course. Absolutely. Yep, that, that's what happened. 100%, Ben. Ranting about it for 43 minutes. I kid you not. Ben Shapiro destroys the Barbie movie for 43 minutes. <sighs> that... That, my friends, is derangement. And, Bo, you haven't seen anything yet. What the f***? Run. This is, this is someone who has some serious issues. Serious issues. Wow. Now that, again, right there, makes the Fox News segment turning this, you know, moving into political, saying, oh, you know, you know red, the Red States, they just want to have party, you know, they want to have fun, party. That makes this seem incredibly quaint and normal, which, by the way, is, is not. It's still kind of unhinged trying to make every movie into some red state versus blue state divide. But um, Ben Shapiro blows his whole thing out of the water. I, I really do think that this maybe could be Ben Shapiro's jump the shark moment because he is getting dragged in the comments to his own video. I want to I want to read some of the top comments, just the, the, the tip, tippy top comments of this. All right. Mark Dice writes, only Ben Shapiro could complain about a movie for as long as the runtime of the actual movie itself. Another person adds, can you imagine going to see the Barbie movie, just getting settled in your seat, and then you turn around and you're sitting next to Ben Shapiro? Well, to be fair, you'd have to look down uh, in order to see him. Another person says, can, I can just imagine somebody looking across the movie theater and seeing Ben aggressively scribbling on a notepad. Uh, oh, oh, definitely aggressively. As aggressive as you could be to a notepad. <laughs> Oh, this is works. Woke. <laughs> and then one of my favorite comments uh, says, he actually spoke about this movie for four hours, but his talking speed reduced the video duration to 43 minutes. Uh, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> um, he also got dragged on a platform formerly known as Twitter. Apparently it's X now. Uh, for dressing up exactly like Ken. 
Matt Bender uh, with that uh, great tweet right there. Oh, look at that. It was just pointed out to me that Ben Shapiro went to go hate watch the Barbie movie dressed exactly like Ken. <laughs> uh, uh, other people have pointed that out as well. Uh, somebody says, dude went to go watch Barbie just to get mad. LMAO. And by the way, addresses Ken. Uh, and look, the comments, this is this is comment and meme gold. This is almost as good as the time of where Ben Shapiro went and uh, bought one one little piece of wood from Home Depot and held it up for the camera. One, one time, I'll take one slice of wood, please. Look at how manly I am. Come on. Come on. But look, I, I'll give you the secret of when, why Ben Shapiro is doing this. 1.2 million views in that video. 1.2 million. Uh, look, there is a cottage industry around white guys getting mad at things. And all what all Ben Shapiro is doing at this point is he's just grabbing that bag. That's all you got to do now as a conservative online. Get mad at stupid things. Get a great thumbnail. And you can grab that bag.